Hello and welcome to this video wherein we are going to talk about BigQuery SQL based machine learning and the model we are going to focus today is going to be XGBoost Regressor. In the last video, we talked about BigQuery machine learning models as well as we looked at the linear regression. So let's look at how do you do XGBoost Regressor. So in order to create an ML model, we will follow exactly the same syntax as we did for the linear regression model with a few changes. Please note that for the linear regression model, we used a very simple data set, but for XGBoost, we are gonna use Iowa liquor sales data set. So let's first talk about the data. So in order to get the data, you need to get the BigQuery public data dot Iowa liquor sales dot sales. So let's look at it. So in the BigQuery, you need to look at BigQuery public data. And if you need help, look at my previous videos of BigQuery do it yourself tutorials, and you will come to know how to get this BigQuery public data. Underneath that, there is a table liquor, Iowa liquor sales. And if you open the sales table, this is how it is. My request and recommendation would be to look at this table, look at the data, get yourself familiar with, with what we are trying to do. In this case, we are trying to predict the number of bottles sold in, so bottles sold, sold in this data set. So let's start writing some XGBoost model. In order, and before also doing that, you can write some basic queries to look at this table. I'm just gonna look at the count from 2019-601 to 2020-601, and there are almost 2.4 million records. I'm gonna use this to train an XGBoost model. And then from what I'll be using as features, is gonna be county, date, item description pack, and a couple of other parameters. And then I'm gonna use target as bottles sold. So even if I run this, this is what it looks like. So just setting the base, knowing the data. Next, let's start creating a machine learning model. So in order to create a machine learning model for XGBoost, you're gonna write create or replace model the name of the model. In this case, MDL XG predict sales. Options, model type, boosted tree regressor is the name for XG boost regressor model. Input labels as we had for the linear regression as well, bottles underscore sold. That is the column that we are gonna use for our target variable. Now you might be noticing learn underscore rate. So this is the learning rate alpha when you talk about machine learning models and then early stopping equals to true. That means if the model when it's training, if it does not see any improvement or minimization of the error, it stops. So it, think about a little bit of gradient descent. So in that, if the loss is not reducing much, it's gonna stop early. There are a lot of other hyperparameters also, like L1 regularization, L2, and other things that you can also use. We'll see a few of them in the next few videos. So options, model type, boosted tree regressor, input columns, bottles underscore sold, learn rate, and early stop. And then the same query, which I just showed you with a couple of more columns. So county, date as weekdays, month, item description, store name, pack, zip code, and vendor number. Bottle sold, is what bottle sold is my target column. The reason we picked weekday as one of the features is because in the data for analysis, we did was we understood that the bottles are sold heavy on 
Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, while the other days, the, the bottles are a little less in, in sales. And then month-wise as well, because in December, November, January timeframe, the holiday season, the number of bottles tend to increase as compared to other months. So this is the analysis you would normally do. Next, let's create this model. So I'm gonna go back to BigQuery. I'm gonna to go to XGBoost here and I am going to, so I'm gonna run this model. I have already created ran this model because it takes a few minutes. So the model created is MDL XG predict underscore sales. So you need to run this model. Once the model is run, you would see models under BigQuery ML, models and MDL XG predict sales model. You can open this and look at evaluations and training and things of that. We will talk about this in a few minutes. Next. So once the model is created, you would see this statement at the bottom like this, and you would see XG predict underscore sales model. Next, we are going to evaluate the model. The same concept, ml.evaluate the model and the model name. So let's run and evaluate the model. So going back here, XGBoost, let's evaluate the model. So in the model evaluation, you would see the MAE, mean squared error, log, absolute, R2 score, and explained variance. Once you are satisfied with this, and I'm not gonna fine tune the model because there are lots of things that can be done to improve the accuracy of the model. For example, you can write or add more features, tune more features, uh, remove the outliers, add more data. You know, there are different ways to improve it. So let's keep this just for our discussion's sake and let's do prediction of the data set. So this is how you will evaluate model. And net, next, predict the values of the test data. Please note that while we were training the model, we picked up 2020, 2019 to 2020, 0601 data. Go back and probably look at the query. But for predicting this time, we are gonna take it from June 2nd to September 1st of this year, or of 2020. So we'll say select star from ml.predict, the keyword model, and the name of the model. This is the test query. Let's run this. So I'm going to run this query here, predict using model, and I'm running this now. And what you would see as in terms of linear, in case of linear regression as well, you have predicted bottles sold and then compare it with the bottles sold over here. It is close to what you would expect. So this is how you would run XGBoost model. And this is the predictors bottle sold. In the next video, we're gonna talk about team DNN regressor. And by the way, all the queries that we discussed in the XGBoost video they are available in the Google Drive link mentioned in the video description section below. Thank you for watching.